country. You have the right to choose, and no one should be able to take that away from you. Please remember that. Thank you, sir. Any other opponents? Any informational witnesses? Yes, ma'am. Chairman Howard and members of the committee, my name is Pat Bollinger, B-O-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. I'm a member of the Montana Board of Medical Examiners, and I'm here today on the board's behalf to provide inf information. The Board of Medical Examiners is a licensing board whose primary mission is to protect the health care consumers through proper licensing and regulation. Along with physicians, the board licenses EMTs, residents, physician assistants, telemedicine physicians, podiatrists, nutritionists, and acupuncturists. I have three points because I, this hearing is going long. First of all, I, we, the board applauds the significant time that's been devoted to this issue, especially with leaving the task of determining, determining the debilitating condition to the ability of the physician. This is also elaborated quite well in a handout I have for you, which includes the position paper that the board adopted in May of 2010 and also amended on what the, the standard of care the physician should follow in certifying medical marijuana. We also appreciate the minimum standard of care in the bill and that the, it leaves to uh, rulemaking that the board may go for a stricter standard as needed. And finally, on the Smith Amendment, in Section 6, page 7, it uses the word that the physician should monitor the person's response to the use of marijuana. We would prefer the language in the position paper, which would be supervised. And also on page 7, there is a place where you should strike and supervise. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Any other?